the seventh and final mirror of the Magellan Telescope has just reached its peak temperature in this furnace and will eventually be used to see the earliest parts of galaxies light years away. Underneath the U of A football stadium, a time machine is nearing completion. And this is the last one we need to complete the telescope. A telescope that will be able to retrieve images from galaxies to see their beginnings. The pictures that they sent to each other had to travel across the universe to get to us. So by the time all the other galaxies are old like we are, the pictures that are reaching us from the most distant galaxies are just the first ones that were sent. So we're seeing their baby pictures. And hopefully find some surprises along the way. So if we want to look for signs of life in the atmospheres of distant planets, we need these giant telescopes. But the years long process still has plenty of work to do day by day. Today is the day that we melt the glass, that we form this gigantic honeycomb structure, 28 feet in diameter, but only one fifth the weight of a solid mirror that size. The entire project with thousands of scientists involved is expected to be completed by the end of this decade. Now everybody involved in this uh, cares about the product of these mirrors, the product of this telescope, which is what we're going to learn about the universe. But the hard work team members are putting in now will create another successful Tucson mission that will advance science for the next generations to come. This is part of the wonderfully rich heritage of space science at, at the University of Arizona. Now the mirror that's in the furnace now will take about three months to cool down and it'll be ready to start polishing around early January. Reporting at the University of Arizona, Katherine Patterson, 13 News.